Meet Anders Zorn, a Swedish artist known for his breathtaking paintings. He had a pretty interesting life, you know. Born in 1860, he grew up in a small village in Sweden. As a kid, he loved to explore the outdoors and would often go on long walks in the countryside. These experiences would later inspire some of his most famous works of art. One of Zorn's early paintings is called Portrait of Kufil Meyer. He painted this in 1902, and it shows a beautiful woman dressed in traditional Swedish clothing. Zorn had a knack for capturing the essence of his subjects, and you can see the joy and pride in Meyer's eyes. In Portrait Study of a Man from 1901, we see a different side of Zorn's talent. This time, he focused on a man's face, carefully depicting every wrinkle and line. The painting shows the character and strength of the man, giving us a glimpse into his life. Zorn didn't just paint people, though. Take Red Sand for example, created in 1903. It's a stunning landscape painting that showcases the beauty of the Swedish countryside. The vibrant red hues and the soft texture of the sand make you feel like you're right there, soaking in the scenery. Now let's talk about one of Zorn's most famous portraits, Mrs. Mary Morris Hollowell painted in 1901. He perfectly captures the elegance and grace of the subject, revealing her inner beauty. You can see Zorn's attention to detail in every stroke of the brush. In Nude on an Embankment from 1900, Zorn channels his love for the outdoors, depicting a nude figure lying on a river bank. The painting exudes a sense of tranquility and freedom, inviting us to appreciate the beauty of nature. Zorn had a way of capturing the spirit of his subjects, even in his more casual paintings. In Two Friends from 1903, we see two women deep in conversation. The colors and the composition of the painting transport us into their world, making us feel like we're right there with them. But perhaps one of Zorn's most touching portraits is Daniel Catlin from 1901. This painting shows a young boy lost in thought, looking out into the distance. Zorn's ability to capture the innocence and vulnerability of a child is truly awe-inspiring. Lastly, we have Most Home from 1902. It's a painting that depicts a rural setting, with a woman holding a baby in her arms. Zorn's use of light and shadow gives the painting a warm and intimate feel, making it feel like a glimpse into a private moment.